I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Three of Cups, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Three of Cups, it's actually considered to be a card of reunions. It can be a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. Now, it is considered to be a happy reunion, very upbeat, very happy. It can also mean celebration, your own, or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands. With this card, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Because if you look at the picture of the Ten of Wands, it's the card below the word pass. You see how this man's walking forward? Well, guess what? He's actually about to fall backwards. So, you might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find... That part of the burden that you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So, it's important to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So, once again, the recent past energy. Three of Cups clarified by this Ten of Wands. So, Leo, I'm getting that for some of you. You got somebody that wanted to come back. They wanted to come back towards you. Yeah. Somebody came back knocking at the door. It, it was it felt good. It felt right at first. You two celebrated and rejoiced. It was a very happy, happy comeback together. But then it became very difficult. Yeah. It could start to feel like it was emotionally draining. Yeah, this Ten of Wands, it can signify a hard place in the relationship. For some of you, it could have been that your person was undergoing a rough time. And it had nothing to do with the relationship, but it needed your support. But for some of you, the connection became emotionally draining. But it was happy at first, but then things changed. So, let's see what is coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Four of Swords, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Four of Swords can signify that there's a need for a break. Could be from your person or normal or from normal life. It can also mean that you or someone in your life they may withdraw. This withdrawal is not permanent, but it's a sign to give people their space. So you could need some time and space to yourself, or others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. So don't hesitate to draw boundaries. For yourself, or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you got to make sure to take them at their word because if you push in the circumstance, it's going to be asking for trouble. Yeah, and I say trouble because if you look at the Four of Swords, you see this man, he went off by himself. Well, he well, took his four dogs and four swords. Swords can mean trouble. He doesn't want anybody to disrupt his peace. He put a candle in the shoe. He plans on being there overnight or maybe for a couple of nights. So, you, yeah. If someone says no to you, take them at their word. 
Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. This Four of Swords, it's about rest after struggle. Now, to the Magician. The Magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. You will not, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So coming up, Leo, Four of Swords clarified by the Magician. So like I said, whomever this is that came back, you two were happy in the beginning, but then it became, the connection became very difficult for some, for one reason or another. So you feel like coming up, you're going to want rest. You might feel like withdrawing or just ghosting this person. Like I said, the Four of Swords is about rest. Rest after struggle. So you're going through some difficulty with this person who came back. And you realize it's time to manifest something new. Forget anything from the past. Forget somebody trying to come back. Magician is about new beginnings. You realize that it's time for new. New, 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 new. No more of anything coming back. You're going for something new. The magician is about new beginnings. Great expectations. So you got the wand in your hand, Leo. And that indicates that you have manifestation powers. So you'll be very strategic and planning for 2021. Yeah, you realize that no more of the past. <laughs> You're probably thinking that was a big mistake. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Ten of Wands. How he's about to fall flat on his back. So, good for you. You made a decision. It's time for something new. And like I said, it's, it's a good time because... The Magician is showing up in your reading for what's coming up. And the Magician has manifestation powers. But just remember, if you do nothing, you get nothing. It's all about action when you get the Magician in your reading. So a lot of great things can happen for you. And it looks like that's what you're going towards. So I'm excited for you, Leo. Yeah, you got some rest. Now you're ready to manifest. For 2021. I should say it again. Manifest new. <laughs> Yet enough of the old. Anyway. That is what's coming up. Now let's take a look. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. So we got this four of pentacles. And the two of wands. Okay so the four of pentacles. Can be a card about holding on. Maybe holding on to things, people, money, or situations that's longer than, well, that's longer than is healthy. Longer than is realistic. So when this card appears, it's actually a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. It can point to anxiety, fear, or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, grasping and being anxious, it does not bring security. Now, it's with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands of this card, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. This can indicate a partnership with another person. 
It could be business. It could be personal. It also reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. But you got to keep your eyes on the prize. So your challenge for pinnacles clarified by the two of wands. Well, Leo, whomever this is that came came back. Um, and things got difficult. It looks like they're not ready to go. No, for some of you, they're clinging on really tight. Or they have no intentions of leaving. But there you are, the two of wands. You've got two options. You, you could have two paths towards the future. Like I said, you're manifesting some great new beginnings in your life. So right for right now, it looks like you've got something else in mind or someone else in mind. Or a couple of things in mind. Because if you look at the two of wands, it's the card below the word challenge. This man is sitting down. He's got a wand on the right and a wand on the left. One of the wands, he's only got his hand tied to it. So he's kind of interested. But the other wand, he's got his ankle tied to it. His whole body is facing that wand. And he's looking directly into the eyes of that wand. And he's smiling. But the other wand, he's just got his hand tied to it. And his back is to it. Almost no interest. So yeah, like I said, you're manifesting new. But your person is still holding on. Whether you know it or not. They're still clinging to this connection with you. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we've got the Emperor. And the Emperor is with Six of Pentacles. Now the Emperor it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about. When the emperor appears, and I say this because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor actually signals this. But he also signals that now is actually the time you find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Yeah, forge your head. Do what you know is best because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. And I know some of you are saying, so what does that mean? Well, plain and simple. The emperor is the type that only uses his head and not his heart. So it's easier to make hard choices. Yeah, the emperor is, um, the emperor could be a boss, a leader, very arrogant type of person. Yeah, these type of people, they never want to come across as being vulnerable. Yeah, a lot of them would rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart. It's a very cold energy. Now, it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle. Yes, positive cycle. Not just a positive day, but a whole cycle. 
Six of Pentacles can mean generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. So your outcome, Leo, Emperor, clarified by Six of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, your person who came back, they're not ready for it to be over. If you take a look at the Four of Pentacles, that's the card above the word challenge. This man is clinging on for dear life. He's got his hands on his money. He's got his feet on his money. And if a huge brick was to fall out of the sky and knock him upside his head, he'd be in that same position. Yep. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it could explode. That's your person. They don't want you to go. They came back for a reason. Yeah, Leah, you got somebody that wants to be with you again. When they came back, they meant it. But you find this connection to be too difficult. For some reason. You know what it is. Yeah, this person makes you want rest. Rest after struggle. That's the Four of Swords. Just too difficult. So, you're off to new beginnings. They see it. They feel it. They know it. And f for some of you, they're just going to cling on in some kind of way. Whether you know it or not. Maybe they'll do it silently. Maybe you'll be just, you'll be stuck in their head. For a long time, it's unhealthy clinging. So for some of you, you're going to realize you have to go cold on this person. Because they don't want to leave you alone. The emperor is very cold. Yeah. This person could start to be really generous to you. Start doing nice things for you. Because the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. They might start, start buying you nice things or just being really kind to you, doing things for you, maybe giving you nice gifts. I don't know, but you got somebody that that's not ready to let you go, Leo. So that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we're all going to get through this, so stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantic, romantically, guess what? The other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas, and I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day, and take care.